Hello? Ah, it's you. Welcome back. I suppose you brought me ingredients again. Wonderful. Let me take a look. Hmm, some elf's quilt moss, red cap mushrooms. Oh, hey, crystal cicada shells. I guess they've started molting then. And, whoa, these aren't basilisk scales, are they? No, no, they're wonderful, but basilisks are absurdly dangerous. Is there one nearby? Ah, you found them in a snitchwing's nest. Good. Then they're probably from far away. I'd hate to think that you were putting yourself in danger for rare ingredients. Now, let's see. I'll offer you seven silvers and ten coppers for everything? How does that sound? <laughs> you look surprised. You may not have had to collect the scales from a basilisk itself, but they're still very rare and very useful for alchemy. I'd be practically robbing you if I paid you anywhere close to what I usually do. I take it you're happy with the price then? Wonderful. Here you are. I'm very excited for those scales. There are all kinds of things I can use them for. Hmm? Oh, well, mostly for making mithril. It wouldn't be armor grade, but mithril has other uses. <laughs> You're awfully curious today. Mithril is easily enchanted, so I can store a lot of magical power in just one little bead. It's tremendously convenient for high-level alchemy. Say, since you're feeling so chatty today, would you like to stay for tea? We've never really had the opportunity to just sit down and talk. Good. Come with me. I live in the back of the shop. Ah, please forgive the mess. I promise there's a method to all the madness. I know precisely where everything is. See? I put the kettle right... Um... Okay, wait. I know it says somewhere. Ah, got it. See? I wasn't too far off. I'll be making my famous lavender herbal tea. I mean, it's not actually famous, but it would be. If I had company over more often. Alchemy shares a lot in common with cooking, so alchemists are usually good cooks and we make the best tea ever. Take a seat. Let me just start boiling the water. So, how's life? I understand that you do some other odd jobs around the village, not just collecting alchemy ingredients. How's that going? Yeah, I can understand that. It's nice to have stability. Before I got commissioned as an official alchemist, things were kind of dicey for me too. Alchemy can be extremely useful in certain situations, but not as much in a rural area like this. But now, as long as I fulfill certain quotas, I get paid regularly. They'll even pay up my pay if I hire an assistant, although I don't think anyone out here is interested. Oh, so you're curious, eh? Well, I haven't been able to talk to anyone about it, so please, ask away. So, basically, an official alchemist is someone recognized by the government as a capable alchemist. Every month or so, I get sent a list of potions and items that officials need. If the ingredients needed are rare, they usually provide them for me. I just whip them up and send them out. What kind of things do they ask for? Well, most of the times it's things for medical purposes. Healing potions, silk wire for sutures, antidotes for magical ailments, that sort of thing. It's important work, of course, but not the most exciting to produce. The things I really like making are rare items. The kinds used as reagents for magic spells and things like that. I don't usually get to make those, but I do it on my own time. I still get to sell other stuff I make, so I keep them in the back in case some mage passes through. What is alchemy? Hmm, where to start? Well, I guess the best place to start is at the beginning. Alchemy doesn't have the most noble origins. It started with a power-hungry king ordering his wizards to find a way to turn other metals into gold. Technically they succeeded, but the necessary ingredients are more expensive than the gold they create. But there is this Wizards realized that they had found a novel way to use magic. You see, the wizards knew right away that they couldn't transmute matter with their own magic, but they knew a variety of magical creatures, plants, and minerals that had promising properties. They managed to ex extract the magic properties to do things they couldn't. Alchemy allowed them to transcend human limitations. And I mean, sure, alchemy is a slow process, so it's not suited for every purpose. But it's versatile, powerful, and anyone can learn it. No inborn magical potential needed. Although, naturally, some people are still better at it than others. The whole thing is a really interesting process. Different sorts of magic reside in almost everything different thing, in various amounts. Every different type of magic has a different process for extraction. Some of them even interfere with each other, making certain combinations really difficult to get. And even once you've extracted magical essence, there are a bunch of different ways to introduce it into an object, which can really change the end result. And there I go. 
I don't usually get to talk about alchemy with people that much, so when I do, I kind of gush about it. It's kind of funny. When I started practicing alchemy, I wasn't interested at all. It took a while to grow on me, but I finally found that I loved it once I gave it the chance. Hmm? Uh, well, it's kind of embarrassing. You see, when I was little, me and some kids snuck into an alchemist's lab and stole a bunch of stuff. We were total brats back then. My dad found out about it, and after I returned all that stuff, he made me help her out on weekends as an assistant. For the first couple months, I was always pouting about it, acting like it was so unfair, but I caught myself listening in on her when she was muttering to herself about how to create something new, and peeking at her notes from time to time. She noticed I was getting interested, so I graduated from sweeping floors to helping prepare ingredients. Before I knew it, years had passed, and she told me I was ready to start my own lab. <laughs> Did you know you were the first person to buy one of my creations? Yep. I still remember it so well. I'd gotten really excited to be out on my own in a new town, and I had a bunch of items ready to sell, but no one wants to buy something from an unproven alchemist. I didn't get any customers for my first couple of days, but then you showed up. You scraped your knee while exploring the forest, and you bought a healing poultice from me. It meant so much to me, even though I'm sure you didn't give it much of a second thought, and then... Um, oh well, I've never told you this, but, well, without thinking, when you turned to leave, I rushed over to give you the biggest hug as thanks. I realized what I was doing just in time. You turned around to see me suddenly standing right behind you. I knew I had to give a reason as to why I'd rushed over to you. I panicked, and just sort of blurted out that you should get me ingredients the next time you're in the forest. <laughs> yeah, totally embarrassing. I guess you bought it, though, because the next day you were back with a sack full of herbs. It was the start of a long and prosperous partnership. By the way, you haven't told me why you suddenly gained an interest in alchemy. Are you trying to become my apprentice or something? Oh. Oh, wait, really? I'm honoured. I'm kind of surprised, though. You don't seem like the type to want to stay cooped up indoors. Ah. So you want to learn alchemy so you can make stuff on the go as an adventurer? Honestly, that's a fantastic idea. I don't know why more adventures don't do that. Of course, you'll be a touch limited with what you can do without a whole lab, but you should be able to make some basic potions, and you can make some decent quality materials to sell for extra cash. You certainly already know plenty about what ingredients to look for. So, let's see. Hey, how about stopping by on the weekends, just like I did? I'm not the most experienced alchemist out there, but I'm sure I can give you some knowledge on the basics. Super. Well, I'm really looking forward to this. I'll be honest, I've kind of always wanted to spend more time with you for a while. Hey, before you go, I'm thinking I still owe you that hug. The amount of takes I had to do for this. Pain noises.